Hello, my name is Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and did you know that you could make your own carbon dioxide gas? Well you can. All you need is some baking soda and lemon juice or vinegar. I have in these bottles an equal amount of white vinegar and lemon juice and in these balloons an equal amount of baking soda. Now it's very important to have the baking soda in the balloon and attached to the bottle before you begin the experiment. Otherwise you're going to lose most of the CO2 gas and you're not going to inflate the balloon very much. Let's get a close up. So why does the balloon inflate when I add baking soda to the vinegar or the baking soda to the lemon juice? Well, it has to do with the reaction between an acid and a base. You see, the baking soda is a base, while the vinegar and the lemon juice are acids. And when you combine them together, they try to neutralize each other or cancel each other out. And a chemical reaction takes place. And when this chemical reaction takes place, the baking soda, which is also called sodium bicarbonate, breaks down into CO2, which is carbon dioxide gas. And when the carbon dioxide gas forms, there's so much of it that it can't be contained in the bottle. So, it has to go into the balloon. And when it's going into the balloon, it inflates it. 